Tilbury spawn again. Big fan club has a high-powered CO2 flipper at the front and a high-powered spike at the rear. Twice series semi-finalists, 25 miles an hour top speeds, the fastest in the heat, four-wheel driven, should drive all the way to the semis once again. Roboteers, stand by. Matilda looks on at the Hydra team. Andrew Ledbetter at the controls, just 12. His dad, Dennis, there with him. And the Spawn Again boys, Darren Ball and Luke Jackman. In the arena for the house robots. Matilda with her heavy flywheel and tusks. And fighting with our gallant lady, our gallant knight of the realm, Sir Killalot. Three, two, one. Born again, good machine, good competitors. Hydra newcomers and immediately flicked up. Clearing away, very quick to recover. I like that self writing mechanism on Hydra. Seems to be quick around the arena as well, up to 15 miles an hour. A little bit naive driving straight onto the front of Spawn again. And for a second time, you open yourselves up for attacks. They don't seem to mind with that CO2 powered self writing mechanism. Just seen there Luke Chapman and Darren Ball in the Spawn Again control booth. Hydra is a roly-poly sort of a display, isn't it? Again they tumble, again they self right. This is great stuff, jack-in-the-box stuff here. The little Andrew Ledman at the controls of Hydra. So, he can be flicked and turned over. Bash and crash, and immediately righting themselves. Gymnastics the order of the day for Hydra. Underneath, spawn again with the wedge. Hydra's ground clearance are vulnerable two centimetres. It allows the flipping. Certainly, spawn again the more aggressive at the moment. I wonder if Hydra have now been immobilised. I wonder if all the rough and tumble in the end was too much for the 12-year-old Andrew. Matilda thinking about a charge. In comes spawn again. It's a, a real battle now. In comes Matilda. Watch for the damage caused by the flywheel. Not a great deal. So Hydra withstanding a lot here. And I wonder if they'll come again. I think they'll be beaten here. If they'll come again in another series wiser for this battle. Certainly Darren and Luke and the Spawn Again team are on top, driving on once again. In underneath Hydra, they could go out of the arena here. No, they decided to flick them back into the arena. Hydra long immobilized. So Killalot went to Pinch Andrew's machine just squeezing away. There goes the ref bot with the count. Well, it was an enthusiastic display by Hydra, and I think Andrew, at 12 years of age, will have learnt a lot from it. And I hope he does come back another time. More learned for his experience. Good battle, that spawn again go through. And what now happens to Hydra? Punctured by Sir Killalot, slammed by Matilda. Was the weaponry and Sremet that looked so neat early on? Well, they provided a trick or true and certainly some entertainment. But that CO2 being vented from the inside of Hydra controls its flipper weapon and self riding mechanism. And Hydra is about to tumble into the dark pit, young Andrew. Well done to you, though, and to your dad, Dennis, who operated. The weaponry there, a waste management engineer by trade, and I'm afraid, Dennis and Andrew, Hydra is just about to become another piece of jetsam and flotsam and detritus from Robot Wars history. About to go down into the pit, the final ignominy for Hydra. Take a hiding! Spawn again! Lift a fight again! They go through! Awesome! Yeah, worked pretty well. Didn't it? Yeah. That flipper is strong. Yeah, yeah, it's lifting up OK, so... I, I, at one stage I thought you were never going to win, though, cos he just kept flipping himself back over and going at you, didn't he? Yeah, we well, just keep at them and sooner or later they'll die. Well, you're seeded 13, that's 1-3. Unlucky for some, but it could be lucky for you guys. We hope so. Um, what changes have you made to it since last time? Uh, well, it's a completely new robot since last year. We've got the same drive system, a bit faster, but we've got a full ball pressure flipper on it now. A bit like Chaos, but a bit sort of higher than Chaos's one. But uh, 
yeah, it seems to be working well. So, how much can it lift? It seems like it seems strong. Uh, it can lift probably about 500 kilos. So, 100 kilos is not too much. So, that's heavy. Yeah, yeah. It will lift uh, at the end of the ram, right at the back of the arm. It will lift a car. So, all righty. Well, you're not going to get anything that heavy in robot wars. <laughs> no, hopefully not. <laughs> Uh, apart from kill a lot, do you reckon you can flip him? Uh, uh, we try and stay away from him as much as possible, so... <laughs> That's a very wise decision. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it! Spawn again! Next round, Spawn again. Semi-finalist last time, can you do it this time? Oh, yeah, we're going all the way this time. Yeah, what damage did you sustain? Uh, well, I managed to blow one of the solenoids on the robot, but that was after we immobilised the opponent, so it's just a minor problem. So We're done, OK. You've done a little bit of rewiring. Yeah, we had a bit of rewiring because sort of, it's so powerful, it uses a lot of current and keep burning out wires, but not anymore. Feeling confident, aren't you? Definitely, 100%. Again, two yeah. minutes, job done. Stop it, I can, I can tell. From East Tilbury, spawn again. Hi, we're Team Spawn again. I'm Darren, this is Luke. The Essex boys are back with an all-new robot. We're faster, more powerful, and we've got a full ball pressure, 1,000 PSI flipper, like chaos, only bigger. And this time, anyone who comes near us is going into orbit. Roboteers, stand by. Spawn again. Born out of Spawn of Scutter and Scutter's Revenge for Darren Ball and Luke Jackman. And Evolution Alistair Hare, wife Katie, would be with him. She's heavily pregnant. Matilda's in the arena for the house robots. The tough exoskeleton lacks self-control. Sergeant Bash, limited fuel capacity. Don't worry about that, he has plenty of strength to worry about. Three, two, one. Sergeant Bash there on top of your picture you looked hungry to get into action as well. Spawn again on the attack though. Evolution spinning. The tank machine of Alistair Hare. Spawn again will try and get in underneath Evolution and flip it up and over using the high powered CO2 front flipper like that. Evolution, the tank has crashed down. I would imagine at this stage it has now. You're not coming back from that. To be quite frank, the tank is out. What a performance by the Spawn Again boys! In underneath! And one way to oblivion from there! We are not worthy. Well, that went according to plan, didn't it? Exactly the plan. We said we was going to come in and get them straight out, and we did the job straight away. Well, you're fighting those Irish boys next. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dear Tour. Yeah. How do you think you're going to fare? Dear Tour are scared. They're running scared. They know they are. Well, they're, running, they're running scared. They're running scared. Well, I would be. I would be. Hey, game on. Let's have a ding dong. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, spawn again. <laughs> What a performance by Spawn again. Evolution out of the arena. This is how the Heat G final lines up. Dear Tour against Spawn again. Should be fun. Two flippers, flipping loonies, and the flipping maniacs. Because you're not taking any prisoners, are you? No, no. We're going straight in, try and beat them, get it over with quick. What do you think about the opposition? Oh, they're a good bunch of lads, and they're actually the ones who fixed our robot to get us here to this fight, so <laughs> there's no bad feelings towards them. It's no, no bad feelings, but what about gratitude? What about, oh, well, we'll stand by and let you go well, through. Well, we've made a gentleman's agreement. Whoever gets immobilised first, the other one pushes them straight down the pit to avoid getting beat up by our robot. Oh, for goodness sake, that's not meant to be happening. What's going to happen, then, in there? Uh, we're we're going to do that till we flip them, then we're just going to leave them out, and the robots are just going to eat them. But don't <laughs> tell them that. <laughs> so much for a gentleman. Gentleman's agreement, eh? Tree if you're if you're just wondering who this reprobate is, who are you? Oh, my name's Jack. And who are you? A yeah, mascot. Oh, I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> He's son of the master of robot wars. <laughs> it's Craig's little boy, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, look, cute, at isn't he? look at this beautiful <laughs> face. Does he remind you of anyone? He's taller than his dad, though. So we've got to watch out. Excuse me, I need to talk to the other team members. <laughs> From Club Dolkin, Deator. From East Tilbury, 
born again. Roboteers, stand by. In the first day of Robot Wars, the Dio Tour team have been great fun. Peter Redman, Dr. Zulu, Joe Gavin, and now, of course, Jack and the Spawn Again team of Darren Ball and Luke Jackman have also learned vital lessons over the past years. For a start, how to dodge the likes of Sergeant Bash in the arena. And how to twist and turn away from the tusks of Matilda. Three, two, one. Fascinating to watch the development of these two sides. Spawn again now with that formidable flipper. Diator, oh, has lost one eye for a start. In underneath, Diator, very little ground clearance, but tumbled over. That was the first attack. And then as they tried to self right and fired their weapon, both eyes actually came off Diator. At the controls, Peter Redman. As for his tactics, he says, oh, I'm never too sure, actually. And Spawn again releases the button that will send Diator down into that crevice after a worthy battle through this heat to the final. But no further from the lads from Kondolkin in Dublin. And Spawn again with the fur trophy already on the front flipper. Reaching the semi-finals of Scutter's Revenge in Series 3 and the semi-finals of Series 4 with Spawn of Scutter. We'll head through to the Series semi-finals again. Oh, Diator's on fire. We've seen that before, but we haven't seen quite as determined a performance from Diator as this one. Sergeant Bash comes in with a flick of play. And Diator, crowd favourites, being taunted by the crowd now in a splash of steam. Out go the flames and out go the hopes. In comes <laughs> the sergeant once again. Well, there's going to be very little left of the polka dot fur. I don't know where they get the supply from every year. Only Peter Redmond and Dr Zulu, Kieran Byrne and Joe Gavin would know. Perhaps it's something from their private lives they'd rather not discuss. We won't delve into that. Oh, and there they go, and there goes their machine. A charcoal heap. Tatters around the arena floor. Hey, 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 spawn again. What are you doing out there having a go? On looks Joe Gavin. In comes Matilda. More damage caused to Diator. Spawn again doesn't exactly look healthy after the exertions of this final, but we know that it's Spawn again through to the series semi final. Diator a crumpled heap. Diator gets one in the eye. Spawn again through to the series semi-finals. Well, as they said, you were lower than them. Yeah, we was lower than them. You got the first flip in. Yep. And they haven't got a self riser Design flaw. <laughs> yeah, we did have a couple of goes of flipping them back over again and then thought, well. We made the agreement, we'll put them down a the pit, and then we had trouble, so... You're in with the big boys now in the series semi-finals. Yeah, oh, yeah, I oh, know. What robots do you want to avoid? Uh, Razor. <laughs> Everyone wants to avoid Razor. Razor and hitting the disc wouldn't be a very good uh, draw, I don't think, but we'll give them all a go. What do you think you're susceptible to? You're susceptible to the kind of, um, the, the claw, are you? Uh, well, I think almost all of us are. It's basically sort of Razor's always the one you get in before he gets you, basically. But, yeah. um, other than that, we're sort of, I suppose we're as good as most of the others. It's just mm. a question of uh, if it holds up on the day. So. Oh, yeah. Razor's coming up later in the competition. We'll see, if, we'll see how his robot looks and yeah, if yeah. it performs this year. Yeah, that's right. He's always had problems, but yeah. this year he's keeping his fingers crossed. So. All righty, <laughs> all righty, ladies and gentlemen. They're into the series semi finals. Let's hear it for Spawn again! <laughs> Weight Fox Section four wheel driven machine gives very fast 25 miles an hour top speeds. The CO2 powered front flipper can toss a small tank. Yes, we've seen it done. Roboteers, stand by. The reigning world champion Simon Scott, Ian Lewis, and Vinnie Blood with Razor against them. Darren Ball and Luke Jackman and Spawn again. 
chunks in the arena with the axe and the scoop and the menace. Sergeant Bash is there as well with the flamethrower and the pincers and the bad mood. Three, two, one. Activate. What action we've already seen. What's in store for us here? Razor on the attack, immediately slicing down through the front flipper of Spawn again and pushing it against the arena sidewall. And I feared all along the extra weight of Razor would be crucial here. And I don't think Spawn again can get away from their peril. Semi-finalists of Series 3 with the Scudder's Revenge machine. Semi-finalists with Spawn of Scudder in Series 4. And to me, Spawn again are going to fall at the same hurdle for Darren Ball driving, for Luke Jackman there with him as well. And Razor with Ian Lewis at the controls. And there's the weapons operator and team captain Simon Scott. Have victory in sight. Piercing and penetrating with the beak. Grappling with the front scoop. They use it as a jaw. They get in underneath there. Spawn again with a very small ground clearance. But wide enough for Razor to get in underneath. And poor old Darren. Oh, he's got a fight on his hands here to stay alive. They're on the border of the CPZ, the corner patrol zone. It means that Sergeant Bash and Shunt can attack. You get pushed into the CPZ if you're new to Robot Wars. It means the house robots can have a go at you, basically. Razor trying to have a go at Spawn again. We'll have to give chase. Spawn again turns, comes in on the attack. Side by side, they strut their oh, stuff. No flipper. No flipper. Ah, confirmation from the Spawn again team that the weaponry is gone. What should we do? Press the pit release and maybe seek a merciful release by going down into the pit yourselves. I don't think so. I think it's just bad driving. But Razor will take advantage and down goes Spawn again. And Razor, the world champions, go through to the next fight. Jeez. champion just one step away for a place in the UK finals Razor go through <laughs> what can I say man what are you saying <laughs> what are you saying well what can we say I can't believe the thing was still running after that but I uh, know we went right the way through well, yeah we said oh we'll go for the pit and uh, yeah. see what happens and uh it died it just died. as I got by the pit and that was it <laughs> Hey, how'd you feel? I want my mum. You want your mum? <laughs> and I tell you what, you Bring couldn't lose on. to a better robot, though. No. No, I don't think you've so. You've got to go, you. out, go out to the double world champions. <laughs> and, I, and I tell you, mate, you've had some fun here, haven't you? You have certainly have. It's been, been all right. good, yeah. yeah. We'll see you again, won't we? Definitely. We'll definitely be back. Definitely. All right, guys, hey, let's hear it. Spawn again! Spawn again! Hey! Razor rules OK. Look pretty good to me there. As they go through, but what a loser's melee we have for you now. Spawn again. Wild thing. An S3. God knows what this is going to be like. It's going to be absolute chaos in there. In fact, I think that's the one robot that's not in there. <laughs> the loser melee. Spawn again. You've repaired all your damage from the last battle. Yep, we have. Well, some of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you feeling about this? Uh, we'll find out in a minute, I think. <laughs> As I said, I think you've just got to watch your back. Roboteers, stand by. What will happen here to spawn again? Darren Ball and Luke Jackman roughed up by Razor in their last battle. Wild thing beaten by the judges and Chaos 2 and S3 in the pit by Bigger Brother. Nick Adams at the controls of Wild Thing. Pete Allsop with the S3 controls. Sergeant Bash, uncontrolled, flamethrower and pincers. Totally out of control. Shunt will try and get you totally out of here. Three, two, one. Active. It'll be mayhem. S3 moves from the right hand side. Spawn again coming in from the left. S3 in the middle at the moment, spinning away, trying to get that hugely powerful vertically mounted disc into play on the front of Spawn again. Slicing 
bouncing, bashing. Wild Thing took damage, so did Sport against Front Flipper. Previously already damaged by Razor. Well, they're gang up on Wild Thing, it would seem here. Is it a process of elimination? Gang up on one, then take on Tother. Wild Thing squeezes between the two. There we can see Nick Adams at the controls. Chasing down on Spawn again. The S3, 1,000 RPM, 20 kilo, 18-inch diameter snatch weapon, they call it, the spinning blade. Rotating, looking fearsome. Spawn again, momentarily silenced and stilled. Up goes its flipper, down goes the, the pit, released there. S3 on the charge on Wild Thing. Who's nearest the pit? Wild Thing dances away. What is that next to the pit? Something's come off. S3 on the attack. Spawn again being counted out by the ref for these two will be left to fight it out then for a place in the next battle. Spawn again, they've been counted out by the ref for. We're down to two. Wild Thing and S3, only one to survive. They're in the same control pod. Wild Thing the aggressor, the more experienced here of the two, I would say. Previous semi-finalists on two occasions. S3 has the weaponry. Spawn again. That's the long way home via the pit, says Sergeant Bash. Down you go. That's the last we'll see this series of Spawn again. And I think the judges will have to decide the winners of S3 and Wild Thing. Who stays in? Who goes out? Cease. I don't have to make the decision. The real brains do. What an amazing battle. Excellent drive and Spawn again. Refuses to be born again, consigned to the pit of oblivion. It's down to the judges on Wild Thing and S3.